Singapore Foreign Affairs Minister Vivian Balakrishnan says Southeast Asia is the epicenter of the Delta variant tsunami as ASEAN wraps up a week of virtual meetings. Also high on the agenda, Myanmar. Dr. Balakrishnan has described the situation there as a perfect storm with political turmoil, economic standstill and a COVID-19 surge. Dong Wai Kit joins us for more on this. Wai Kit, Singapore now redirecting vaccines from the COVAX initiative to ASEAN? That's right. Singapore intends to give its portion of vaccines to its uh, ASEAN neighbours. Singapore has also previously donated about $100,000 to a pooled ASEAN fund that's meant to buy vaccines for the region. And the reason is simple. Uh, simply put, if you're helping your neighbours, you're helping yourself, especially when you want to immediately or, 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 or quickly open up uh, the region for travel. And on that front, during the week's meeting, uh, countries are also talking to one another about recognising uh, one another's health certificates as well as vaccination certificates so they can facilitate uh, travel easier uh, within ASEAN. And what progress then can we expect uh, the special envoy to make in Myanmar? Well, yes, uh, the, the appointment of a special envoy to Myanmar can be seen as progress, but Dr. Balakrishnan pointed out that violence in Myanmar has not ended. Political leaders have not been freed. In, in fact, as we speak, I'm getting reports and intel from, uh, from inside Myanmar that uh, there are at least five locations in Yangon that have seen uh, blasts. And this gives you a sense of just how uh, challenging the situation in uh, Myanmar is right now. Uh, Earlier during the uh, press conference with Dr. Balakrishnan, he was asked what he thought were the key deliverables of the special envoy who is expected to start work in Myanmar soon. Let's take a listen to what he said. I think the key question is, is the level of access that he will be given. And, you know, the, the, the real imperative behind appointing an, an envoy is that he should be able to engage all stakeholders across the political spectrum and to the extent that he can act as an honest broker. You heard it from Dr. Balakrishnan who said that it's important to engage. Uh, so I asked Dr. Balakrishnan whether Singapore or ASEAN intends to engage the National Unity Government which is formed by the ousted lawmakers. Now if you recall very recently the US had formally engaged the NUG. Now Dr. Balakrishnan said he is not able to give any details except to say, and I quote, uh, that we have engaged across the political spectrum in Myanmar. All right, many thanks for that. Leong Wai Kit following developments in Myanmar.